Hi everyone. So, story time today with Mrs. Nelson and I have got one of my favourite stories to read you. It's called The Crunching Munching Caterpillar. Caterpillar was always hungry. For weeks he crunched and munched his way through the fresh juicy leaves of the blackberry bush. One day Caterpillar was about to crunch into another leaf when buzz, you see there he is crunching through the leaves. Something's come buzzing up. What could it be? What came buzzing along? You're right. It was a bumblebee. The bumblebee landed beside him. Wow, said Caterpillar. How did you get there? Simple, said Bumblebee. I flew. I have wings. Look. Okay, see it. Wing. See the flyer. Ooh, flying. Oh, I'd like some wings, said Caterpillar. I'd love to fly. Well, you can't, said Bumblebee. You haven't got wings. Your legs are for walking. I guess so, sighed Caterpillar, and he crunched and munched until bedtime. He just wrapped a leaf around himself, ready to sleep, when a butterfly landed beside him. Oh, I wish I could fly like you, sighed Caterpillar. Maybe one day you will fly like me, smart butterfly. But now you should go to sleep. You look very tired. Butterfly was right. Caterpillar suddenly felt very sleepy. As Butterfly flew off into the night sky, he fell into a deep, deep sleep. When Caterpillar woke up, he felt the warmth of the spring sun. He had slept all through winter. Caterpillar was stiff from his long sleep, but he did not feel very hungry. He stretched and he stretched and squeezed, squeezing out from behind the leaf. What do you think might happen? He's been asleep for a really long time. What might have happened to him? And the breeze lifted him up. Oh, flying. What is he? The caterpillar, a butterfly. Caterpillar flew into the air. He was no longer short and plump. He had wings, great big, wonderful wings. Butterfly wings. Wow, he said the young caterpillar. I'm flying. I'm really flying. Hope you enjoyed that. Miss Scott will be here to read a story next week and then I'll be back the week after.